Today I'm at SF Flora, one of the uh, vendors in the California flower market. This is the most amazing flower market. Earlier today I taught you two techniques of uh, 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 a hydrangea-based bouquet and a collaring technique, and now I'm going to teach you a zoning technique. Uh, techniques we teach at school, flower designing, uh, people assume it's 90% creativity, it's 10% of my job. Most of the time it's about construction of the bouquet. You pick a style, you stick to the rules. I always say it's three to four chest moves to every design you see in a magazine. So that's what we teach us at the San Francisco School of Flower Design, is those chest moves. It's like Rubik's Cubes, only much, much easier uh, to, to create fabulous design. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, we have schools all over the country, New York, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Chicago, up and down the West Coast. Uh, and we turn beginners into pros, and here's how we do it. Today's technique, this technique is called zoning. And just like the word says, we're going to start with a nice uh, bunch of uh, South American hydrangeas. I'm here with my expert, Matt, from SF Flora. He's going to answer any questions for me in case uh, I'm not sure the origin of these flowers. These are South American hydrangeas. I'm going to take some spray roses from... San Diego. San Diego, local semi-local, California, and I'm going to zone them, and it simply means putting alike flowers together in a zone. Aren't we clever as floral designers with these titles we come up with? So I'm zoning with some pink San Diego, <laughs> oh, we're in, uh, spray roses. See? There you go. Then I'm going to take, oh, I'll put one more zone over there. Notice I often work in geometric shapes. I tell everyone there's a lot in class, a square right there. If I'd added more, I'd add a pentagon. If I want even more, I'd do an octagon. So lots of flower design is all about symmetry. And I, and I figured this out years ago. Geometric shapes and bouquets make the bride happy. You don't make her work on her wedding day. But this is the type of design we do for a nice table set setting. Uh, next, I'm going to take Genestra from Matt. Where is this from? Also California Ground. I love Genestra. Is this is not available all year, is it? No, it's a uh, late winter spring flower. Zone, Z-O-N-E. There's a zone of Genestra. How many months? Like three months? I believe it's three to four months a year. Yeah, I wait. Actually, I wait every year for the Genestra to come on the markets because, as you can see, it makes me look like a design star. Uh, by the way, I have a book coming out. It's called Design Star. It'll be out in April, and all these techniques are in it. Uh, it's called Design Star, Lessons from the New York School of Flower Design. The next one will be Lessons from the San Francisco School of Flower Design, but right now it's from New York. Um, but here I am, zoning my Genestra. I tell you, you gotta get Genestra. You can't go wrong. Makes everything look good. So I'm zoning with my Genestra, and last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of seeded uke. We'll zone with a little of that. Uh, I brought these out today. Uh, SF Flora has a lot of these great colored cylinder vases. Uh, great for party and event work. You know what they're also great for? Uh, if you've got one of these uh, slick downtown condos here in San Francisco or New York City, you have these stacked in your entryway, on your, uh, uh, on your entry, in your foyer, on your tables. And you stack bouquets in here. You can do these tall cylinders. You can get some shorter cubes and you stack your containers. And you put some pretty flower designs in each one of them. So, I'm going to finish off my design. Matt's going to tell us about, uh, real quick, about growers in California. Matt, what happened to all the growers in California? There used to be 300, right? I heard. 300 growers nationwide 15, 20 years ago due to the South American import. A lot of them have uh, shut their doors, closed down, or consolidated uh, with other local growers. Um, there's still about 30 to 40 cut flower growers left in California. Um, beautiful products, very nice selections. Um, it's all fresh. He's being modest. They have the most incredible flower market I've ever seen. There is nothing like it in Chicago, New York, Milwaukee, Minneapolis. I'm telling you, this is the place to buy your flowers. It's, it's amazing. First time shoppers here. We're on, it's on 6th and Brennan. And you're open, this place is open to the public in the afternoon. You can come in and take a tour. Uh, you maybe see designers walking around, pick up some design tips, but they have the most incredible flower market here in San Francisco. So again, here's our zoning technique. 
I'm just going to squeeze this all together and pop it right into the base. And there you have it. Everybody wants to know how we do that up in the air look that you see in all the wedding magazines. Well, here's one version of it. Uh, again, hydrangeas and spray roses, genestra, seeded eucalyptus, done in what, about three minutes? Easy breezy, beautiful uh, flower design. I brought you by the San Francisco Flower Design, School of Flower Design and SF Flora. I'm going to get busy and fill these other two bases before I go home. Thanks for being here.